7 Successful Shark Tank Deals Hey everyone, welcome back to Film Visionary. Innovators and entrepreneurs pitch their items to genuine investors called sharks. The show has uncovered its crowd of almost 5 million viewers, and throughout the years, the sharks additionally observed some good ideas that simply required a shark with profound pockets to take off. Let's take a look at the top 7 wildly successful Shark Tank deals. But before we begin, make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so that you don't miss out on anything. Also, if you're a fan of the show, let us know by liking the video. Let's begin. Number 7. X Plus Drone JD Claridge and fellow worker Charles Manning set off a bid in the Shark Tank with their automaton company, Xcraft. The Sharks preferred the organization's 1.5 million elite model. However, they were pretty excited over its execution and operation, which transformed cell phones into power recording devices. Number 6. Pat Boone Pat Boone was the pitch man as well as founder of the organization. It was said that the vehicle, called AirPod, on a single tank of compacted air could go as quick as 50 miles for every hour with a 100 mile go. Also, to top off the tank of air, it was additionally stated that it would take 4 hours to revive. Robert made his huge investment on Shark Tank with this company, putting a handsome amount of $5 million into the company for an astounding half stake. Not only was it Robert's biggest investment, despite everything remains the biggest venture to air on Shark Tank. Number five, the Ugly Holiday Sweater Company. Along with its bubbly festive sweaters, the company additionally makes ski gears, Thanksgiving and Christmas ensembles that end up blowing up a lot of people's minds while pulling in certain commendations and applause. Robert's $100,000 enthusiasm for a sweater company named Tipsy Elves in 2013 has changed into more than $50 million supreme arrangements since the start. Number 4. Swerk It Ben and Greg came to the show, introduced themselves in Swerk It to the Sharks, and stated they came in looking for $1.5 million in return for an 80% value stake in their company. Ben claimed that Swerk It resembles Spotify, but you have different exercise schedules in here. And if you can't play out a specific exercise for any reason, you could skip it and the application will just give you an elective exercise to do. Mark chose to offer the $1.5 million for a 10% offer in the organization, just as $1.5 million worth of ad stock, giving him a platform to publicize his different products on the free form of the Swerk It app. Number 3. Rugged Maniac The entrepreneur chose to participate in an intense mutter obstacle course, a series of 10 to 12 mile obstruction race occasions. Cuban considered their company to be a significant investment opportunity and at first offered them $1.5 million, whereas Mark put $1.75 million for a stake in Boston-based obstacle course organization named Rugged Maniac making it most likely the best arrangement on the show. Albeit, Rugged Maniac was scarcely productive by then, so the guys dismissed the offer. The three at last chose a $1.7 million investment, with Cuban getting a 25% portion of the company. Number 2. Grovebook Grovebook mobile application gives a simple method to print your preferred phone photographs onto a custom month-to-month -month photograph book. For every $3.99 a month, Grovebook sends a customer a 4x6 photograph book with punctured pages that they can remove and offer as gifts. In 2014, only 11 months after the couple owners, Julie and Brian Whiteman, made their deal with Mark Cuban and Kevin O'Leary, Shutterfly purchased the organization for $14.5 million. Number 1. 1031 Productions Melissa came along as a ghoulish lady to establish the creativity of her business. Out of nowhere, a scarecrow sprung up, an evil shaman, and a chainsaw executioner raged onto the stage to give the sharks an alarm and a risk of fear. 
Melissa offered the Sharks 10% of her company in return for an incredible $2 million interest in 1031, which was probably the biggest deal on Shark Tank. Damon made an offer of $2 million and 20% of 1031 productions, and before Damon could even process the offer, Mark outsharked Damon by supporting his offer that was planned for his fellow mate. Melissa stood stunned when she accepted and shook on the deal. Well, we know some sharks have a really keen eye and they're always looking at the bigger picture. These were some massively successful deals they've made throughout the years, and we know there are many more to come. This brings us to the end of our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Stick around for more amazing content as we will be seeing you soon in another video. Until then, take care and goodbye.